A large herd of elephants in the Kamanyap area needs to be researched to see how the human wildlife conflict could be mitigated. Manufacturing in South Africa at a cost of $130,000, so the satellites will help transmit and share daily. data to alert the farmers as to where the elephants are by not being in the same place at the same time. The Deputy Minister of Environment and Tourism, Tommy Namba, who emphasized the importance of finding sustainable solutions to resolve the human and wildlife conflict. In addition to quarreling of elephants, our ministry plans to carry out a number of activities this year to help us better understand the elephant situation in the Kunene region. We are going to conduct the elephant census in the northwest, mainly in the Kunene and parts of Erongo. We are also going to review the elephant management plan to come up with better methods to manage the elephant populations in Namibia. In all these efforts, we will actively, cons actively consult with the interested and affected stakeholders so that we can all proudly take ownership of the end product and help the government with the implementation. Towards the end of the year, the owners of Nankuse will join the Ministry of officials in Kamanyap to assist with the colouring of the elephants and research. The Managing Director of Nankuse Foundation, Dr. Rudy Van Fieren, says the programme that airs on NBC1 will help the nation have a better understanding of their wildlife. And every day you get a map, a Google map, of where this elephant is. So when you get that download, you can share that with the people that's having the problems with the elephants. So, the best way to solve conflict is to understand the other party. And so we need to understand the elephants. And once we understand the elephants, and how they move, and where they go for water, then we can help mitigate the conflict. Although the project currently focuses on the elephant conservation in Kamanyap, the foundation hopes to expand it in other regions. For NBC News, Siamandikwa, Bandook.